And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. I am your host, Mega Shadow Fist. I suck at video games, I suck at commentary. And when we last left off, what were we doing, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen? We were doing things, and now we're going to do even more things. Um, So now we're trying to figure out which door to go through and actually be finished with the visual novel section for a little bit anyway before we start. Before you guys start yelling at me for how stupid I am for missing things. You ready? So anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Problem is, which which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something! Why am I the one that has to choose? I mean, I get it, because I'm the main character, but still. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Why me? If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tim Mulkey or Dio or anyone. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decision will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll pick. Nobody seemed upset, but they probably knew as well as I did that we don't have time for bickering. I took a, I took a deep breath and spoke. Okay. Fee and I will. Arrgh! Okay. So... So... Hmm... I guess, I guess for now, I guess it's really just like a matter of who do we want to get to know the most so far. So Luna and Tamulji, those are new characters. Alice is a returning character, but I guess probably the game assumes that you maybe want to go with Alice because like, oh, Alice from the previous game, I want to get to know her more. So maybe that's what we should go with, or I will, no, I'll just do my mom's trick and go with uh, alphabetical order, whichever was first in alphabetical order is the one we go with, which is Alice. I guess. But I want to go with Tamyoji too, because like I like his name. But I also like Luna, because Luna... Anyway, we'll go with Alice. When... Alice. I think I'd like to go with Alice to, and take the cyan door. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah! Sure! <clears throat> that means Quark and I are getting paired with Luna. I don't have a problem with that! Miss Luna's nice! That's fine with me, too! We'll take the yellow door then, right? That means Clover and I will take the purple door with Tim Yoji. Aww! I wanted to go with Alice! Something wrong with me? Mmm, I should have thought of that. I should I should have let them I should have let the two go together. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have split them up like that. That's gonna have some negative repercussions, isn't it? Unless like uh, Clover's evil all of a sudden. Cause like you know it's kind of like it kind of reminds you of the oh I don't know. Urgh. I just don't want to get chopped up by an axe. Okay, I'm watching. I got my eyes on you, Clover. Oh no, not wrong! What is it then? Well, you're really gonna make me say it? You're old! Uh, okay. Wait, what? Okay, what? What? <laughs> what? Why you? I'll have you know, I'm as spry as I was when I was 20! <laughs> and I'm. As spry as I was when I was 20, sort of. I mean, it wasn't, that wasn't that long ago that I was 20. 10 seconds remain till chromatic doors close. You guys better book it. 9, 8, 7. We don't have time for this. We need to go. Grr. You're getting an airful later, young lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 whatever. 3, 2, 1, 0. Chromatic doors closing. What's interesting about this, though, is it doesn't seem like there's any, like, rush. Because, like, in the previous game, what you had to do was... Hold on. In the previous game, the way that it worked is, like, as soon as you got in there, I think you had nine minutes to, like, find... To, like to like find the other nine that would deactivate to find the other nine and put your like bracelets up against it because if you didn't do it within those nine minutes you'd blow up because you know in this game you just like you just like get injected with stuff you die from lethal injection from what is essentially like a fancy schmancy lethal injection but in the previous game you just blew up like i said 
Is this just a hallway? The door said crew quarters. P people probably stayed here. There are numbers on each of the doors. One, two, three. <laughs> four, four, three. So there are room one, room two, room three, etc. Hmm. I guess we might as well start by opening one of them. By opening one of them. Looks like we were right. This place really says someone lives here. Yeah, there's a bed and everything. Yep. But who would be spending the night in a place like this? It looks too plain to be a guest room. This room's probably belonged to a laborer or some kind of blue collar worker. Guess this is where the people who worked here stayed. But what were they working on? Beats me. Why would I know that anyway? I don't know what this place is any more than you do. Your guess is as good as mine. Do you think it might be a coal mine? Any canaries? Hmm. Or maybe they're drilling for oil or something. I don't know about that. What do you think this hall leads to? You want to you want to go have a look? Yeah. No luck. Looks like it's locked. No getting out of the hallway until we can unlock it then, I guess. Looks that way. Alright. Let's split up and have a look at these cabins. Zero told us that there are key cards we can use to open the A B rooms. Maybe there's one hidden here hidden in here somewhere. So, let's get started. With a nod, V and Alice both moved off to start looking. V headed to room 4, and Alice went to room 2. Seek a way out! Okay. Ready? Uh, we can't, like... Oops. We can't, like, nav- watch the way I navigate. Ha 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 ha! I think Alice is, inve is investigating this room. Ah, well, I don't think she'll mind if I go in. Praise the Fun Your Impa. You don't know the Fun Your Impa is? Apologize! Apologize to the Fun Your Impa. Sigma, what are you doing here? Just thought I'd come, to ch come check up on you. Oh, well, I haven't found anything interesting. Okay, well, I'll have a look-see and see if I find anything interesting. So, what is this? There's something on top of the desk. It's a little piece of metal. Small piece of metal. Interesting, it's like a... It's like a wind-up toy or something, maybe. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. There's a little padlock, which we don't know. Well, not really a padlock, but there's a phone. A phone? It looks rather old. Yeah, not that old, I guess. Look at the top there, it's got a place for small cassette tape. Oh, never mind, yeah, I didn't even notice that. I was gonna say it looks like it's something from the 80s, which I guess is pretty old, especially considering this is 2028, right? So, see, that would be 40 years in the past, right? Because it's the next decade, and right now the 80s is 30 years in the past. I think the tape is actually for the answering machine part of the phone. Yeah, that's how it is. That would make this phone decades old. I mean, if you play it, ever played Last Window, you know, there's, you know, there's... The back, the back side of the tape. Hmm, I wonder what's in here. Well, keep wondering, it's locked. See? I told you so. There's a panel over here where you can put in a passcode. If I can just get it to work. Enter a four-digit code, then press the enter key on the right. Well, let's give it a try. Okay, so 23 is number one. Failed! I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Two, three, zero, one. <laughs> I, I could try all these combinations, but that's just silly. We're not gonna worry about that. Do you have any ideas? Ideas for what? How to use this thing? Well... Of course I do. 
You really think you're going to open it just by pressing random buttons? Well, I thought maybe I'd just get lucky. I mean, if the amount of combat with the amount of numbers there are, and it's four, the number of combinations is, like, very high. It doesn't work like that! There's no way you're going to get this thing open unless you know what to enter! Hmm. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go and go to, uh... I mean, the reason why I was nervous was because, like, one of the bad endings in the previous game came from splitting up Clover and Snake, so he should be checking this room out. I think I'll see how she's doing. Oh, hello, Sigma. Find, find anything? Not really. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Look, there's something on top of the desk. Yeah, it's a piece of metal. Kind of cylindrical. A key. Is there a hole on it at the end of it? I want to see something, actually. What I want to do is go to... No. 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 Uh... There we go. Hey, where's the... Yeah, I don't think these connect... Maybe they do. It looks long enough. I was thinking this is like maybe like a wind-up toy, but if we combine these, yeah, it does make a full key. Okay. What does Fee have to say about this? Damn it! It won't open. Yeah, looks like it's locked. I think that thing on the door can unlock it. We just need to figure out how. Enter four-digit code, then press the enter key on the right. All right, let's give this a try. Nope. I don't- I don't think plugging in random numbers is going to be very helpful. You need to get a clue. Like the movie. A clue, huh? Okay. Looks like we have an island girl here. By the gods, I never thought I'd see one! Uh, what? You scratch off the silver part with the coin, you can see the naughty stuff. Really? Okay. It's the ultimate in interactive poster technology. I mean, I guess some. I guess, but I guess some people are just into like the imagination and like the the build up. I was about to say, why not just buy one that's already in the nude? Like that just that that, that saves the work. But you know, maybe some people just like some people just like you know, they they just like imagining and like slow like the surprise essentially. And you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to um judge people for their habits, despite what I might have said in an episode of Pass Up Survival several years ago. It's the ultimate interactive poster technology. What teenage boy doesn't dream of something like this? Raise his hand. The excitement, the anticipation, finally, the reveal. Although I am kind of weird. You look pretty excited. I am kind of weird in that department, though. Uh, as in, my... An old phone. Pretty gnarly. Gnarly, is that really what you use for that? If we're talking old, who the hell says gnarly anymore? Shut it! <laughs> Fine. Have you tried calling anywhere? Of course, I tried every number I could think of as soon as I found it. Did it work? No. Which makes sense, I suppose. Why would someone trap us in here then let us make phone calls to the outside world? I don't think it's connected to the actual phone grid. So it can only make inter internal calls is what you're saying. An old-fashioned phone. It appears to only be able to make internal calls. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go with three. Oh, that one's loped, but we can actually use the key for that one. Let's go with one first, then. Hmm. Okay, we have a book here. There's a book on top of the desk. Let me see here. It's called... How the hell do I pronounce that? Oh, Schrodinger's cat. Okay. That's common knowledge, I thought. There's a kitty on the cover. Isn't that just purishous? Precious? Shut up. Whoops, there it goes. Up, down, up, down. Still can't help taking a like take a like at the cat. When I talk about talking like a cat, I talk about a cat. 
Let's see what's in here. Looks like all sorts of sciencey stuff. I have no idea what any of this means. I don't think this is part of any kind of puzzle, so I'm just gonna leave it here. By leave it here, you mean take it. <laughs> okay, up, down, up, down. What's this? I don't think it's a stain. Why would you assume it's a stain? A triangle, a leaf thing, and another triangle? What's that thing on the right? It looks like the silhouette of a fox. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see it, I can see it. There are four sheets on the wall in the front of the, de in the front desk. What do they mean? Damn. It's locked. I think this panel here is what unlocks it, but nothing happens when I push the buttons. Is that a keyhole in the top there? Hmm. I probably need a key or something. Oh, shoot. I guess that wasn't it. So I guess that, that does unlock the other thing then, eh? There's no phone in this. Yes, there is. It's another... Oh, someone left a book that about cats sitting me out. Oh, this is a safe. It looks like just the one in the Ambidex. Like the one in the Ambidex room. I wonder if it can oh, I can open it the same way. Let's try and do the passcode. Let's not, because it's not going to work with that. Damn. What should I do? Okay... the heck is this? There's a set of three con connected panels behind the phone. It looks like sort of a mirror. The surface is kind of matte, and it isn't very reflective, but the light is good, so it's easy to see what's on it. Or what would be, if there was anything on it. Okay. A phone. Is it connected? A phone. <laughs> is that what you have to say? A phone. Phone. Okay. Well, that's no good. I can't connect it. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oops. What do I. One, two, three. I can't figure anything out right now. Huh? What's this? There's a human silhouette drawn in, on, in white on the bed. The area with the left knee would be would have would be has been ripped where the left knee would be has been ripped out. I wonder if that means anything. The shape of a person drawn the cot. The area around the left knee seems to have been deliberately ripped. Left knee. Okay, I'll need to keep that in mind. By the way, um, file pass secret help. Where's the um? So I guess it's just like I was wondering if the the Schrodinger's cat book was gonna be a on file, but I guess not. Okay. Let me check out the other things. Before we go and unlock the door, I want to make sure we have everything else first. Let's see. There should be a cot in every room, eh? Probably. Yeah, let's see what's here. The right angle. Man, not again. Again? This silhouette. Oh, did you see one in another room? Yeah, I saw another one just like this. It had a, it had a hole torn around the, around the ankle too. No, it had a hole, but it was somewhere else. Left knee, right ankle. Hmm. Okay. Let's get out of here and go into um Alice's room. I was about to say Clover's room. By the way, I haven't saved uh, this entire recording session, so let's go ahead and save. Save over slot two. Yes, please. There we go. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine endings, probably. I'm guessing that's what the question marks are. Where's the other? Oh, here it is. Left um, wrist. Damn. Another one. What do you mean, another one? I saw one of these silhouettes earlier. It had a torn part too, although it was a different part. The area around the left forearm has been torn. Do you think that's a clue of some sort? Who knows? So I certainly don't know. Okay, now we have these. Hey, there's some weird shapes in this room too. What do you mean, too? Did you see something like this in the other rooms? Yeah. 
Just like this, symbols on the wall, desk, everything. Really? What could they mean? Who knows? Anyway, Awkward Paw, see you guys in the next episode. We went a minute over.